It's still Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Get ready with me as I tell you about the time I found a breast lump. So I'm 19, I started having feelings for a guy, so I got on birth control. I start taking the birth control, everything seems to be going good, and then about two weeks in, I notice I have these huge pink bumps or spots all over my scalp. And then I also did my breast test that I do in the shower all the time and I noticed a huge breast slump in my right boob. Actually, I start panicking and freaking out. I call my mom and my sister who is a plastic surgeon and they say you need to go back to the doctor and book an appointment. And again, I'm, I have the worst possible sickness you can have all because I thought I was grown enough to start participating in adult activity. So everyone knows when you're in school, most people don't use the clinic unless you have to. And if you're still under your parents' insurance, why not? So I had to go all the way back home, which is about two and a hour drive, go to the doctor and they checked it out and like, yes, you're definitely having an allergic reaction. So she checks the breast lump and notices it and says, okay, you definitely need to go see a oncologist, get a mammogram and a biopsy. So she books me with a specialist. So now at this point, I'm seriously panicking. So I go in for the mammogram and that's basically a machine where you set your boobs in and then it squeezes them and causes pressure so they can bring up a, get like a screening of what is going inside of your breast. They check the mammogram and they say, okay, you need to come back in for a biopsy. And a biopsy is, is that qualified as a surgery? I don't know. But basically they're going to remove part of my breast tissue and go send it in to go check and see if there's cancerous cells. So now I'm hoping for the best results, praying and patiently waiting for the results. I got the call back because they usually call you when you have a severe case or a severe scare because they don't want you to find out your results online or through the mail. The results were benign. The lump is benign. And I'm like, that means not cancerous, right? And they're like, yes. I was so excited and happy. And I'm thinking I went through all of this just because I thought I was ready to participate in grown up affairs. So basically, ladies, if you are ready to participate in grown up affairs, just be ready for all the consequences that come. Make sure you guys are checking your lumps in your breast in the shower regularly. And if you are at the age where it's time to start getting mammograms, please go check, book an appointment, get your mammograms. If you don't have health insurance, look and see if there's any nonprofit organizations in your community that would be able to sign you up for health insurance and help you with that process. Make sure we're wearing our protection and we are having backup birth control efforts. To Doctor, she changed my medicine because apparently I'm allergic to microgestion. And then she switched my dose to 15 milligrams instead of 30. And then eventually after like three years, I stopped taking birth control. Shout outs to all the breast cancer survivors and my best wishes and condolences to those of family members and friends of people who did not make it but fought the strong fight. And every every now and then I check my lump to make sure it's the same size and that it still moves because I guess a sign that it could be cancerous is if it grows and it doesn't move anymore. And apparently I have fibrocystic breasts, which means I have lots of lumps in my breast. Do a pink lip for breast cancer awareness. Pinkish purple. Setting spray, finish it off. Press that setting spray in. And now I'm ready to go about my day. Peace.